Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but long story short, I was in the Ace Hardware store up here in town. I had to get some concrete bolts for a random house project. And looking for those bolts, I went down an aisle and found these suckers. 22 blanks. I have only used these one time in the past. And what I was using them for, I was helping this old timer frame a basement and we were using um, one of those nail guns that will drive nails into concrete using these little things. You put one nail in there and put one of these in the little tool, whack it with a hammer and it goes bang and then drives the nail into concrete. But here's just a little up close look at what that looks like. It's just literally a 22 blank. It's not firing any kind of boo lots, but there's the box again. And they had uh, at Ace where I was power level three, four, and five. Uh, I got the threes and I said, you know what? Uh, I bet you those would fire in my revolver and that would make an interesting little video. So this is my Heritage Rough Rider revolver. Slick little deal. Actually a super accurate um, little revolver. I've had a couple of these for quite some time and never had a single issue out of any of them um, and I actually saw something too I thought was interesting looking at the bottom of these it has the Winchester stamp on it if I can get the camera to focus on that so apparently Winchester loads these for these companies I thought that was pretty interesting but I'm going to uh, load up a couple of actual live rounds in this revolver and do some plinking here on some steel. Then I'm going to fill the cylinder up with these and just see if it works. See what happens. Do a couple little different camera angles, some slow motion maybe. And yeah, see what she'll do. She'll be pretty cool. But my vote is I'm assuming these will probably fire out of that revolver. But let's find out. See what happens. All right, so like I said, I'm going to do a couple live shots here first. I brought some some of this Norma Tech 22. This stuff typically runs pretty good out of everything. It's some subsonic stuff. I think it only runs like seven, 800 feet per second maybe. But let's make sure this revolver's on the up and up here before we go flinging anything else. Click her twice and the cylinder runs free there. Man, the wind just picked up through here. See that flag blowing behind me. Let me load this baby up with six. And we'll hit some steel out here on the range. And then we're going to test those blanks. I really want to see what happens. I think it's just going to be some good noise makers out of this revolver. But there's six loaded up. Now, we've got a little orange man silhouette can you guys see him over there that last one on the a-frame there i'm gonna see if i can hit him six times here been a minute since i shot this revolver oh no i just said that ammo always works pretty good and the first one didn't go off we'll try to hit it again oh man we uh, got him swinging down there. I guess one of those bolts wasn't in all the way. Let's go ne right next to him. There's a Sasquatch. Let's... Now I'm not going to hit that one. Let's go to the next one beside him is a pig. We got that pig. Hit him square that time. I think that's everything. Yep. All right, so revolver's working good. Let me knock all those out here. If you've never seen one of these, that's got the little plunger. Man, see, you turn the cameras on, things just don't work, huh? I was just showing the camera, buddy, how you eject. And you're not ejecting on me. Might be one of those things where I never clean the guns, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Now we got a little jam there. There we go. Now maybe something will eject. There we go. I've got two of these and one of them, the plunger, is a little bit crooked. This must be the one that's got a crooked plunger. 
Yeah. Maybe I just eject them all with my knife here. Try not to cut myself. Anyways, I'll be right back and we'll load up some of those blanks. All right, now I've got six of these little nail gun blanks here is what I call them. I don't know if there's a, a better term than that or what they are, but I'm going to load all six up here. Same way we loaded those others. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Same way we loaded up those others. See the up here to go right down in there no problem and they allow the cylinder to move so they're going down in there flush there was two three four five and six so there we go. Now we got six loaded up in here. But why would you uh, want to do this? I don't know. Maybe you need a noise maker. Maybe you need to start off a foot race. I don't know. But let's see if they work here out of this Heritage Rough Rider. So, I believe that was all six of them. And, uh, I don't know if the camera picked it up there, but my eyeballs saw a bunch of fireballs coming out of the end of this barrel. So maybe we do need to get some level fives and see what happens if the, the level threes were giving us some fire there. But let's uh let's try that again here. I'm gonna load up a little bit of a slow motion camera and see if we can catch some more of that fire coming out of the barrel there. All right, so pretty cool. Had 12 of them uh, have no problem in here so far. The six you saw me, and then the six from the slow motion there, and had no problems. But let's do uh, another six, put her up to 18 here, and just see what happens. I will definitely tell you this, because somebody might ask, is it hearing safe? I would say no. I am like 95% deaf, so I wear these all the time to protect the hearing I have left, but it definitely has a good little crack to it, probably pretty much just like a 22 long rifle going off but let's uh get a few more going here that time i tried to get all six of them out as fast as i could but hey seems to work just fine in this revolver to answer the question will those blanks run in my revolver uh, I'd say absolutely yes. But hey, appreciate you guys watching. Now we know. Now I know. Always, always appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below ideas for future videos. Don't forget to check out all the links below. Subscribe to my friends at Heavy Metal. We will catch you guys on the next one. Load it up and get all the solutions you can.